We have chilling new details in a story that we've also been following for a while involving two teenagers in Las Vegas who are charged with murdering a former police chief. Both teens appeared in court today to be arraigned on five felony charges in the hit-and-run killing of 64-year-old Andy Probst, who was bicycling, a crime that the teenagers themselves recorded. 18-year-old Jesus Ayala was the alleged driver. We heard from him for the first time in court today. As a judge read the litany of charges, he now faces charges that include murder. Calling cases, Ayala, 23CR 0724 Morning again, sir. You're charged with murder, reduced to deadly weapon. Battery, reduced to deadly weapon. Duty to stop at scene of crash involving death or personal injury. Leaving the scene of a crash. To understand what the crash was. His alleged passenger, 16-year-old Jamer Keys, was also charged with murder in another courtroom. Jamer Keys is the one who recorded the video of the crash, which helped lead to the teen's arrest. Both teenagers are being charged as adults. No bail has yet been set, so the two will remain behind bars for now. And also today, disturbing 911 calls were surfacing, revealing the horror of eyewitnesses who watched as the teenagers aimed their car at Probst and then hit him, sending him sprawling to the pavement. Oh, my God. The, the person's oh. laying in the street. He has not moved at all. Nobody is providing him any assistance. Nobody is near him. Nobody is looking, talking to him, touching him, nothing. Probst, a retired police chief and a 30-year veteran of law enforcement, later died of his injuries at the hospital. To break down what happened, let's go to our legal panel, former homicide prosecutor Matt Murphy and trial attorney and legal analyst Misty Maris. Good to have both of you with us. Um, Matt, prosecutors filed additional charges today, including attempted murder and battery with a weapon. These are related to incidents that happened a short time before uh, the, the mowing down of Andy Probst. They hit another cyclist and they hit another uh, car. So they're piling these charges on at this point. That's right. Uh, the first cyclist, he injured his knee. He was a 73-year-old man. And then they, they went and they crashed into a car, apparently intentionally, before they uh, committed the alleged murder. And they're being charged as adults, even though they're both teenagers. Right. So in, uh, in Nevada law, for certain types of crimes, murder, assault with deadly weapons, sexual assault, there's a, a some really bad ones that you can be tried as an adult. Same thing in California. Um, so the decision was made very quickly by the district attorney of, uh, of the county where this happened um, to try them as adults. And I think that it's, given the severity of this, um, it, it makes a lot of logical sense to you do know, that. They recorded themselves doing this, Misty. On the cell phone video, you can hear them laughing about it and saying, go, go, go. Um, they then circulated this video at school. That's how police came about it. Somebody at school called the police and said, hey, there's this video going around, and I think you guys need to see this. It, it's actually so unbelievable because we're seeing this so much more in the course of criminal investigations, recordings of crimes, because the use of cell phones is so common. But Elizabeth, the reason that this is so important, especially with respect to those murder charges, it's intent. Now we have this video, which has the, the statement, hit him, hit him, hit him, and suddenly we go from putting together the circumstantial evidence to determine that this was not accidental to having a statement against interest that will ultimately be used in court. Will that be powerful in court, Matt? It, it, it's going to be incredibly powerful. And it's important to remember, I, I did two tours as a, as a juvenile prosecutor in, in juvenile court. The whole key is separating the mischief from the crime. So a kid who makes a mistake, the goal of juvenile court is to rehabilitate them. In certain cases, when they're heinous enough like this, this whole thing is on tape. And like Missy said, the, the intent is there. It's crystal clear to a jury. But, I mean, Mr. Ayala, and we can use his name because he's 18 now, he is, he's already got three tattoos on his face and one yeah. on his neck. Yeah. So he's kind of just looking at him. He has embraced the criminal lifestyle before he even turned 18. He didn't look very phased as he listened to those charges. No, he looks, like he, has, he looks like he has no soul. I mean, yeah. that's, it's, he's deadpan. Um, well, yes, by the way, that video not just shows intent, it shows glee. Glee yes. at doing something absolutely awful to another human being. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.